Hi, I'm Noah. And I'm Dominic. And, and we, we are, are going, going to teach, teach you how to prime factor a number using a prime factor ladder. First, what is a prime factor? Prime factor is a number that can only be divided by one or itself evenly with no remainder. Let's prime factor a simple number, 95. First, put your 95 in a box as if it was a dividend in a division problem, but draw the box upside down. First, ask yourself one thing. Can 95 be divided by anything other than one or itself? According to the divisibility rule of 5, it states that you can divide a number by 5 only if the number ends in a 0 or a 5. So we can divide 95 by 5. You may want to do some side work to find the quotient to this problem. When you are done, you should find that 95 divided by 5 is 19. Put your prime factor 5 on the left side of the box and write 19 below the box. Can 19 be divided by anything other than 1 or itself? Well, no, because 19 is a prime number itself. So the prime factorization of 95 is 5 times 19. Let's use another number to prime factorize. We chose to use the number 32. First, make a box like the box in the first problem. Put your 32 in it. Can 32 be divided by anything other than 1 or itself? Yes, 32 can be divided by 2. According to the divisibility rule 2, you can divide a number by 2 if the number ends in an even number such as 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. You will get 16 as the answer if you divide 32 by 2. Now you need to make another box below it since 16 is composite. A composite number is a number that isn't prime. 16 can be divided by 2 again because 16 ends in an even number. You will get 8. Put another box below and put the 8 in it. Divide by 2 again. You will get 4. Divide by 2 again, you will get another 2, and that will be your final time dividing by 2. Don't worry, that's the end. 2 is a prime number, and it can only be divided by 1 or itself. So your prime factorization of 32 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Since you have 5 factors of 2, you can write your prime factorization in exponential form, which would be 2 to the 5th or 2 to the 5th power. The factor ladder is a very efficient method because the outside of the ladder shows you all the prime factors and the inside of the ladder shows you composite factors. One more thing, be careful not to put a composite factor on the outside of your ladder. If you do, the prime factorization will be off because it will include a composite factor. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching. For more videos, check out our YouTube channel, Curiosity Films. Mm-hmm.